If you are passionate about learning new things and discovering interesting facts, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Together, let's explore the world around us in a fun and educational way. Sign up now and be part of this journey of discovery. Imagine a place where the earth seems to meet the sky, where the vast ocean stretches to the horizon, and where mountains and glaciers dominate the landscape. This is Chile, a country that, at its southernmost tip, borders on the end of the world. Living on the edge of the world is a unique experience, which mixes the harshness of climatic conditions with the untouched beauty of nature. Let's explore life in the extreme south of Chile, detailing facts, curiosities, and the emotions of living on the edge of the planet. Chile is a remarkably long and narrow country, stretching approximately 4,300 kilometers along the west coast of South America, but with an average width of just 177 kilometers. Its diverse geography includes arid deserts, dense forests, crystal clear lakes, and, of course, the vast and icy region of Patagonia and Tierra del Fuego. It is in the extreme south that we find the cities of Punta Arenas and Puerto Williams, the latter often referred to as the southernmost city in the world. Chilean Patagonia, Beauty and Solitude Chilean Patagonia is a land of striking contrasts. With its majestic mountains, blue glaciers, and incessant winds, the region is both a natural wonder and a constant challenge. Torres del Paine National Park, one of Patagonia's most iconic destinations, attracts adventurers from around the world, eager to explore its stunning trails and breathtaking landscapes. Tierra del Fuego, the end of the world. Tierra del Fuego is an archipelago separated from the South American continent by the Strait of Magellan. This remote and sparsely populated region is characterized by its harsh landscapes, snow-capped mountains and impenetrable forests. Porta Williams, located on Navarino Island, is the southernmost city on the planet, where everyday life is shaped by almost absolute isolation and harsh weather conditions. The Challenging Climate Living on the edge of the world means facing extreme weather conditions. In southern Chile, especially in Patagonia and Tierra del Fuego, winds can reach impressive speeds, and temperatures often drop below freezing. Winter is long and dark, with few hours of sunlight, while summer, although short, can be surprisingly mild. Unique Flora and Fauna The region's biodiversity is impressive. The fauna includes species such as the guanaco, the Andean condor, and the puma. On the coast, it is possible to see whales, dolphins and sea lions. The flora is equally fascinating with Lenga, Koig and Nair forests that resist the harsh climatic conditions. The Southern Lights Just as the north is famous for the Aurora Borealis, the extreme south of Chile is one of the best places to observe the Aurora Australis. This show of dancing lights in the sky is a magical experience that attracts tourists and astronomers to the region. Isolation and Community Living in places like Punta Arenas or Porta Williams means dealing with isolation. Distances to large cities are vast, and access to goods and services can be limited. However, this also creates a strong sense of community among residents. People depend on each other, and the spirit of solidarity is palpable. Culture and Traditions the culture of the extreme south of Chile is rich and varied. The influence of indigenous peoples, such as the Yamana and the Kaoskar, is still evident, and many ancient traditions are kept alive. The local cuisine, which includes dishes such as Patagonian lamb and centala, king crab, reflects the region's history and natural resources. Adventure and Tourism Despite the difficulties, or perhaps because of them, the region attracts adventurous tourists from all over the world. Trekking, climbing, 
and wildlife viewing are popular activities. The feeling of being in one of the most remote and untouched places on the planet is a great attraction. The challenge of survival. For many, living in the extreme south of Chile is a constant challenge of survival. Severe weather conditions, isolation and lack of resources require resilience and adaptability. However, this daily struggle also brings a deep sense of fulfillment and connection with nature. The Untouched Beauty The region's untouched beauty is one of the great rewards of living at the end of the world. The dramatic landscapes, with their towering mountains, glittering glaciers and vast expanses of wild land, are a constant source of inspiration and wonder. Tranquility and Peace there is a special serenity about living in such a remote place. The absence of noise and light pollution, the proximity to nature, and the slower pace of life allow for a peace of mind that is difficult to find in other parts of the world. Living on the edge of the world, in the extreme south of Chile, is a unique and transformative experience. It is a place where nature dominates, where the daily challenges are great, but the rewards are immense. Life here is a mix of harshness and beauty, of isolation and community, of struggle and tranquility. For those who choose to call this region home, the end of the world is not a limit, but a beginning of a life full of adventures and discoveries. <laughs>